back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Wagwami well, well, people, hope everybody you know okay, hope everybody you know right. Have something to tell somebody this morning. Challenges make you more responsible. Always remember that life without struggle is a life without success. Don't you give up and learn not to quit. Have yourself a wonderful day. Happy Sabbath. Every day above ground is a blessing, people. Holy pa, holy pa, holy pa, thing I go under the news. You understand? I don't need for you now. Ball to ball coming to the get right on this platform. Oh, the St. Thomas the hat. From the man them start fix the road. People just start slap up with me. Left, right and center. Day in, day out. So, make I start right out of St. Thomas. A 61-year-old farm on Thursday became the fifth murder victim in St. Thomas following a gun attack at a bar in his community. No need to worry. Me know who dead. And I know you'll ask me a go now. Dead is Stanford Wilson. Report that sometime after 3 p.m. Wilson was among patrons at a bar when an armed man entered and shot him in the upper body. I am them comfort. Him them come for all the people who mix up them come for these ways. The gunman then made his escape from the area in a waiting motor vehicle. Wilson dead right past spot. You understand the people them know exactly who do they kill. Yeah, the people them what they know. Come on, this is a small community right out on that side, you know. Everybody know everybody. Anyway, make I move on to the news. Three employees of a popular manufacturing business in Johnson, Penn St. Catherine were shot during a gun attack at the premises Friday morning. The attack took place at the company premises. One of the senior managers of the business narrowly escaped injured during the attack. Our news team understands that one of the injured persons, a woman said to be in her 40s, has since succumbed to the injuries she received. Police report that the incident occurred at about 10.30 a.m. Information so far received that four persons were at work when a white station wagon motor car drove up. A man armed with a firearm exited the vehicle and opened gunfire at the four employee. The senior manager ran. Yes, people should run. You understand? But other employee received gunshot wound to various parts of their body. The gunman went back into the waiting motor vehicle, which drove away. The injured person were taken to the hospital by the senior manager. They were all admitted. Yes, people am admitted. And that's not what you don't know. So somebody that's for succumb to them injury. Well, I'm a bit there now. Mix the police. They're not to be a police station. I've one little message for you. So this is a public service announcement. The police are seeking the public assistance in identifying the body of a man who was murdered on Ferguson Drive, Rivers and City, Kingston 11 on Thursday. Me know they never hear about this. I want to see that now, people. Me are telling you now. A con report. The body is about 5 feet 7 inches long. Slim built of dark complexion. Bearded face and an unkept hairstyle. And a missing top front teeth. Which was clad in light grey Calvin Klein underpants. Blue jeans and a pair of white sneakers. The police report that the team heard explosion while on patrol and went to investigate. The man was discovered in a pool of water with what appeared to be a gunshot wound. It is gunshot wound. Knife stab don't look like that. Break in that police. I don't know a knife stab different from gunshot wound. I shot him, get shot. The police are seeking any other information that can assist in identifying the body to call the Unsmay police at 876 923 7110 311. That is crime stop or 119 police emergency number i guess what a man just visit the nearest police station and say yo me know the boy one less problem panjalan anyway people police friday afternoon arrest a suspect in connection with the gruesome killing of popular juta tours operator carlton miller remember me on the top about this already miller otherwise called blacks Formerly of Belly and Runaway Bay St. Thomas was found dead with stab wounds and his feet bound in his car in a wooded section of Discovery Bay in the parish. A suspect who is from Royal Palms in Runaway Bay was arrested during an operation along the main street in that town. Yes, people. Right there, sir. Police told our news team that the cell phone believed to be stolen from Miller at the time of his death was taken from the suspect. Yes. See it now, people. Police are reported that about 3 p.m. on January 20, residents of an area known as Bridgewater became suspicious when they saw a Toyota which parked along the road in a heavily forested area. The police were summoned and upon their arrival, Miller's body was found in the back seat of the car. It had multiple stab wounds and the throat was slashed. Yeah, man, and cut in throat to people. His feet were also bound. The police say they collect several sharp implements from the scene, including a pair of scissors. Yes! And that lead them to the boy. I mean, I know why the police don't ever stop for this boy. Said what I said, and I mean what I said. I'm not taking back. Police, so now we have time. 
All the things you do for do a waste time. All of these criminals need for going up. Every single one of them. And they know me already when I say, I say, I not take you back. Listen to this, and then I'm going to tell you what going after. I was just inside, lying down, and I heard someone call, shouting out, and run out. It was a lady lying down on the ground with blood over her and stab wounds. So I just assist and help to reach, reach her to the hospital, and that was it. I get to understand that she... She was abused by a man and her he stab her and her son fly from the other room and deal with him. Is it that they had um long long term this um yes. family dispute? Yes, 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 yes. Not I may talk to my daughter about it, it, them are young people then I hear. If I'm so mad that they quiet it ago and in the, the in her last month, last one. He sent threat to her. Last time boy get for the and boy dead people. Yes, boy get to him deserve. Now nah, tell the lie. Said what I said and I mean what I said. And I know me already been out to keep back. Relatives of neighbor of a young man accused of killing his stepfather say the family has been plagued by domestic violence for years. You see how some of the people need for shut them out. You understand? Some man in the shot to the mouth. You see them amongst them all long. I watch them a fight half the man and then. But see, they know as somebody dead. Hold on to come and attack now. Anyway, people, I can give you no more news. Dead is Anthony Hutchins, otherwise called Tony or Stammer, while his common law wife Thelma Robbins has been hospitalized with injury Hutchins is said to have inflicted. Robbins' son has been taken into police custody, according to his grandmother. Neighbors told on news team that the young man went to his mother's rescue after her husband attacked her with a knife. This is the second domestic violence related incident in the parish of the third murder in a week. Hospitalized woman mother Thelma Robinson described the gruesome sight of her almost naked daughter body in blood. She says she's praying that she survived the injury as she cannot afford to bury her. Yes, she says she can't afford to bury her. I have to listen to the voice when I was the mother talking earlier. The mother saw the man. I had to want the picnic body picnic now. You can't see the body threatening her there. But guess what? And the last threat that he met because the son hungry bungle for him. Anyway, no people. We can move on because the police them look for one little crosses. Yes, they look for one cross and we tell you exactly who they look for. Detective from the counter terrorist organization Crime Branch and listed a woman as a person of interest in the investigation of the seizure of 12 firearms at a warehouse in Kingston on Friday. According to report, she is Jordan Alisa Edwards of 3 East Greater Portmore St. Catching. Detective believes she may be able to assist in the investigation. Edwards is urged to turn herself into CTOP before 12 p.m. today. Yes, people, that is Saturday, March 5th, 2022. Meanwhile, anyone knowing our whereabouts, you need to ask to contact the police or CTOP at 968-1389 or Crime Stop. But what are they now? The people them said, them tell them which party there, if they get a reward. That's how the people they want to know, because they want a little piece of money for more the soap, you understand? I remember I said the soap have to full up a whole heap of can. Nice, but a soap today. But anyway, the soap come good no more, so nobody go too far.